Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you guys my eyebrow routine. Now it's nowhere near perfect, but the whole reason why I wanted to start this YouTube channel was kind of like a makeup diary. So that way years from now, I can look back and be like, really that's what I was doing with my makeup? I love doing that with things like Facebook memory or time hop, it is so much fun. So to get started, I have been really loving this billion dollar brow. I've heard it compared to the Anastasia um, Brow Wiz pencils, which I have not tried, so I can't personally compare them, but I do really love this product. Only problem is it's a tad bit dark for me, however it's the only one I have, so that's what I've been using. Now to start out, I really like how it's got the spoolie on the end, so I just go through and I brush up my eyebrow hairs, and then we go to town. Okay, so I just take the brow pencil and I very, very lightly just go through my brows and cover up the sparseness. I really kind of like to establish the shape first. Okay, so first of all, I know you can probably hear that. The dogs are wrestling upstairs and being very loud, so if you can hear that, I'm so sorry. Back to the brows. So. Like I said, I just kind of like to establish the shape of the brow and I like to keep going back in with the, the spoolie and just brushing them out. And sometimes I like to brush them upward just so I can see if there's any places that need to be filled in. And then I do the same thing by brushing them down. And when that's done, I just brush them back up like so. I like to start with the end of the eyebrow just because this part up here I like to have more sparse and um, lighter. So it looks more natural, more of like a, a light to dark um, gradient. So that's why I start with the back first. So once I feel like I have the tail end done pretty well, then I move into the front. And I very, very, very lightly take this pencil and just fill in any little hairs that I need to and just create the full shape of my brow. Now because this product is very dark on my brows, I don't like to use a lot. So to fill in any of the other little areas and to kind of set it as well, I do go back in with my Anastasia, um, what is this? Brow Powder Duo. And I have mine in medium brown. So it just looks like this on the inside. And as you can tell, it is very loved. I do love this. And this was my go-to before I started using this. But I would literally only use this. And I found my eyebrows looked very powdery from only using that. So that's why I'm kind of switching up my game a little bit. Which is another reason why I wanted to film this video. So if I do change my brow routine later on, I'll know what I used to do before. Now that we have both brows filled in, and remember, brows are not twins, they are sisters, and sometimes long distance cousins. So now that we have both brows filled in with the billion dollar brow pencil, we are going to go in and set the brows with the Anastasia Brow Duo Powder, and I have mine in medium brown. And I just like to take a little angled brush like this, and I go in with this lighter shade. That's my favorite. And what I do with this is I just lightly go over, especially the parts that um, are very sparse and I had to really fill in with the brow pencil. That's where I like to focus the powder. And when I'm done doing that, I just take another one of these little spoolies and I just go through my brows and brush them 
just to make sure that they're still in the right shape that I like them to be in. Next we're going to carve out the brows and this is just going to clean up all the edges and make them look more crisp and sharp and nice and perfect. So I like to take the erase paste from Benefit and I have mine in number one fair and I've been really really enjoying using this and a flat pencil brush like so or I also like to use this smaller one as well and I'm sorry my brushes are kind of dirty um, I haven't cleaned them recently and then I take a little bit more and we do the same thing to the upper part of the brow. So after you carve out your brow, if you're finding that it's looking a little bit harsh on the edges, you can just take a beauty blender and just kind of dab out the edges and it should fix the problem right up. So now I just take a little bit of that paste and uh, take it on this brush and then we just kind of carve them out. We do, I do the bottom first and I just make it real nice and crisp and then I blend it down. The last and final step with finishing the eyebrows is to set them with a brow gel. I have two brow gels that I like a lot. One is the Billion Dollar Brow Gel and the other one is the Queen of Phil by Elizabeth Mott. This one is tinted and the brow, the billion dollar brow one is not, it's clear. I feel like this one really helps to moisturize my brows, however it doesn't help keep them in place as well as the Queen of Phil does. But the Queen of Phil is also tinted. Now I like that, I feel like it gives my eyebrows kind of a little bit of a highlight and it lightens them a little, but some people do not like that. And it also kind of leaves my brows a little bit crunchy. That's why I love the combination of them two. This one moisturizes and this one really holds things in place. So I like to just go in with the billion dollar brow first and I just comb it through my eyebrows like so. And that just helps set everything in place and it dries a little as I'm doing my other eyebrow. And then by the time I'm done with this brow, this brow is ready for the second coat, which will be the Queen of Phil by Elizabeth Mott. So here it is for you guys, my finished eyebrow routine. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Can you guys not play right underneath my legs? Thank you. Hey, so my lights. I was just napping two seconds ago. So I just like. I love you. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, now I have to go get her a treat because she said I love you. The whole reason why I wanted to start this channel was uh, so that way I could... My dog almost just tipped over my light. Now the last and final step with the eyebrow. Eyebrow, eyebrow. And there you guys have it, my everyday eyebrow routine. 
as it is right now. I can't wait to share this with you guys and see your guys' opinion. Ugh. <laughs>